Days of Heaven, directed by Terence Malick, starring Richard Gere. It's a mix of a period piece with a love triangle story set in the US at the beginning of the 20th century. It focuses on three characters, Bill, his younger sister Linda, and his lover Abby. They're all traveling the land looking for temporary work after getting out of Chicago, and as they do so, Bill and Abby pretend to also be siblings instead of unmarried lovers. They end up on a farm in Texas, where a young and handsome uh, owner takes an interest in Abby. Bill is initially upset by it, understandably, but after he finds out that the man is terminally ill and has about a year left in his life, he convinces Abby to marry him so that the three can then take over the estate after his death. So, the story... You know, nothing to write home about. Um, don't think that is much of a surprise, as apparently Terence Malick threw out the script entirely uh, shortly after beginning production and just let the actors find the story. Sounds like him, to be sure, and the movie carries other trademarks of the director. Poetic voiceovers, people walking and running through the fields, long shots of nature and landscapes. However, maybe because of the early point in his career that that was, um, but Malik seems to be more restrained regarding all those elements than in his later years. All of his later films do the, all of that to the point it's instantly recognizable. You, you just put on his film and within a minute you know who directed it. This one doesn't go as far and I so I felt that because of that it's maybe more digestible. I also want to say that while the story and the dialogue and the performances did not floor me particularly, there is one aspect which elevates the film, the entire film, and it's the cinematography. I would very much love to see Days of Heaven on an actual theater screen because it is gorgeous. It was shot mainly in the golden hour, um, right before dawn and right be uh, right after dawn and right before dusk, and uh, it uses technology developed specifically for the film to allow shooting with less light. Um, and it is just beautiful. I mean. I'm beginning to forget story beats already, but when I close my eyes, I can still see images from the film. They stay with you. They're like paintings quite often. The large fields with the farmhouse in the background, the characters put on that canvas, the huge cloudless sky, the sun with that unique color right before sunset, the shots done in the evening and the night. It really is one of those movies that you watch primarily for the visuals because they're so good that even despite the luck lost the rest of it, it's still worth it just for the images. And I think that's what it comes down to. That's what the reception of the film will depend upon. If you need the story to be good enough and don't care much for cinematography, I think Days of Heaven will be disappointing for you. But if you can appreciate the beauty in front of your eyes, well, there is reason enough here to love it.